I said, please make sure you do something this coming year. If you do zero, you can't harvest anything. You have to plant before you can expect a harvest. So please, Christianity is not stupidity. A lot of pastors have taken advantage of this and just the reign of prophecy. And people uh, gullibly accept the prophecy and do nothing. In my country, Nigeria, you see people on prayer mountain. In the morning till night, praying, praying, praying. Manna does not fall anymore. Number two, I told you that you need to understand that everything works with time. When your time comes, it says he makes everything beautiful. The mountain you see will become plain tomorrow. It's just a question of time. Number three, I told you, I said, please remember that we will not live forever. Enjoy life when you have it. Number four is that you don't need some people around you. Standing beside you does not mean that they are standing with you. If there's anybody in your life who does not celebrate your rising, run away from them. And there's a difference between a mentor and a father. A mentor may be envious of your rising. The fear of the mentor is that if you break through, you won't need him anymore. Anybody who does not celebrate your rising will celebrate your falling. Number five, don't take God out of your life. Be godly. Have a godly purpose for your life. Number six is be grateful for everything you have and everywhere you are.